What is something perfectly legal that feels illegal? Owning a flamethrower is legal in 48 states, California and Maryland require licensing. Owning a grenade launcher is legal if you pay $200. Driving when near a cop. Even if you did nothing wrong, you feel like you are driving with a stolen car and you have blood on it. Existing when near a cop. I'm a decent dude, I spit a little and maybe swear too much, but I haven't done anything terribly illegal in a long time, and I always feel like I'm about to die when near a police officer. Walking underneath the nothing to declare sign at customs, even though you literally don't have anything to declare. Edit obligatory, thanks for the gold, kind stranger. This happens to be my first rodeo. Ordering weed off government website and smoking it in Canada. It's illegal to buy from a guy on the corner but okay from the government. And growing weed in your backyard? Absolutely nuts. Driving and barefoot. I'm pretty sure this is illegal where I live. Canada. It is. You can also get tickets for wearing improper footwear such as slippers, heels and cowboy boots. Turning left at a red light from a one-way street to another one-way street. Edit, for those asking or confused, I live in Ontario, Canada. I got pulled over for this once, the cop was polite enough to let me google it on my phone. The cop was polite enough to let me google it on my phone. I showed him the results, he shrugged and said, you learn something new every day, then walked back to his car. Strangest exchange I've ever had with a cop. When you get a craving for cake in the middle of the night and try to open the damned plastic container and suddenly the whole damn neighborhood is awake and knows your shame. It's been years since I was in mandatory education, yet I still feel weird being out in town during the day on a school day. I've even been asked why I'm not on school before and was like, I'm 21, lol. It was very awkward. Buying alcohol for the first few months after turning 21. Taking a shit ton of samples and then buying nothing. Taking something into a store like Lowe's or Home Depot to make sure you can find the correct adapter or connection. Then walking out with it and not paying for anything after not finding the correct connector. When you enter a store with your own stuff, you need to wave it around at the camera so if they try to bust you, you just say, check the footage, I'm innocent. And then they say that's great. This is Papa John's, we didn't expect you to be stealing a ranch from us, but those aren't your pizzas. Walking through a metal detector always puts me on edge. Feel like out of nowhere I'm suddenly concealing a weapon. Shit, I did put my knife in the check baggage, right? The library. The fact that you can just hang out there for hours, use the computers and then leave with a huge stack of books and movies without paying a cent is very surreal for 2019. Well, you did pay for it. You just paid for it before you used it through Texas. It's not like it's free. Unpaid internships is basically slavery if you don't get any connections from it. Those are usually illegal. They should make another thread for illegal things that are so common they seem illegal. First drive after getting a driver's license. This is me making instant noodle in the middle of the night. At the end, me and family eating instant noodles together, but I have to cook for them. It's really annoying microwaves don't have a stealth mode where you can turn them on with no beeping. In a surprising amount of US states, you can have relations with someone aged 16. I always thought it was 18. In a surprising amount of US states, the minimum legal marriage age is 15. You need explicit parental consent as well as approval from a judge, but it happens around here. Taking your first newborn home from the hospital with no prior training or experience. Yep. When we got home, I asked my husband, now what do we do? It was so surreal. On Monday, I was ordering a sandwich for lunch and there were two cops behind me waiting for their return, but it still felt like I was doing something highly illegal. Driving at night with the dome light on in the car. Why did my mom convince me this was wrong? Cause it's reflection in the windscreen and windows making it harder to see your surrounding. 
Working in advertising, I find how much info I can collect on a specific individual is super creepy. As a general note, just don't sign up for newsletters. The stuff you unknowingly give companies on yourself is scary. It feels so creepy. Just your email and full name is enough for people to know your whole life if they put that stuff into Facebook or other networks. Passing a car when you are going the speed limit or speed of traffic and they are going slower. In places where the speed of traffic trams the speed limit because it's safer to not be obstructing traffic. You could get pulled over and ticketed for going the speed limit if everyone else is going faster. As a pet sitter for pets in my complex, even though people give me their key to get into their house, it still feels really weird entering someone's house, especially when I don't know them all that well. Leaving your house in sweatpants with no intention of working out. Every time I check my arc unboxing under penalty of perjury, I certify everything above is true. Riding the elevator facing backwards. After getting out of the army, calling everyone at work by their first names, or using an umbrella, putting your hands in your pockets too. The first thing I started doing to reclaim it myself to civilian life was intentionally put my hands in my pockets. Taking a shower while someone else is asleep and accidentally dropping one of the soap bottles. That shit is far louder than if you were home alone or if everyone was awake. Leaving a store without having bought anything. Or when you walk into a store with something you bought in another store. I own a regular fire cannon. Any close calls? Came close to running out of black powder ones, but I bought more. Eating popcorn with sushi at 4 am. Are you okay? When the hospital billed me for my 38 hour stay to the tune of $97,000. Paying lots of money to get a politician to do what you want them to do. Bribes are illegal, donations aren't. Going into a store to use the bathroom without buying something. Selling soft prime mortgages to people who absolutely cannot afford them. And back end bundling them as an investment fund to resell to investors, betting they will fail and taking out insurance against that failure with the purpose of getting rich off the insurance while all the investors in those funds go broke. The housing economy bursts and the entire global economy suffers. It happened. We bailed out the banks. America lost its shirt and not one move has been made to make this fully unethical practice illegal. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to watch other videos.